Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum. I have introduced this segment to address critical questions that may be of interest to mankind. The written contents of these videos are available on my website quranwisdom.com in Q&A section. Each video will be short and focused on a specific question only. Today's question is whether Quran approves hadith. The Arabic word of hadith is used in the glorious Quran on several occasions implying a story, a narrative or a tale. The glorious Quran also commands that all hadiths or stories narrated in the glorious Quran are based on truth and facts that have happened in the past. And every believer must firmly trust in all such hadiths. For example, the glorious Quran tells us about stories of past prophets and rulers to inform us how did God treat noble and wicked people differently. However, at the same time, the glorious Quran commands all believers to shun and abstain from believing in all other hadiths that have been improvised and fabricated by human beings as part of the Islamic faith. This warning is since the glorious Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as a guidance for mankind that he exclusively preached and disseminated throughout his years of prophethood till his death. If God had allowed Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him or his followers to narrate man-made hadith, there was a hundred percent chance the teachings of the glorious Quran would be forgotten or mixed up with the falsehood of man-made hadith, as it happened after Prophet's death and now. So Allah Almighty sternly admonished believers to reject all types of hadith other than what is described in the glorious Quran by God Himself. So. Let us explore some of the verses of the glorious Quran that commands believers to reject all man-made hadiths and exclusively rely on the glorious Quran for guidance in all matters of life. Chapter 7 verse 185 and 186 of glorious Quran read, Have they not observed the government of the heavens and the earth and all the things that God created and that their time may have drawn near? Which hadith besides this will they believe in? Whomever God misguides has no guide and he leaves them blundering in their transgression. The phrase which hadith besides this clearly demonstrates that the glorious Quran declines all man-made hadith as part of faith other than the glorious Quran. These verses also confirm that followers of hadith are blundering in their transgression as a way of punishment from God. This warning is reiterated on another occasion in chapter 31, verse 6 and 7 in the following words. Among the people is he who trades in destructing hadith, intending, without knowledge, to lead away from God's way and to make a mockery of it. These will have a humiliating punishment, and when our verses are recited to him, he turns away in pride as though he did not hear them, as though there is deafness in his ears. So inform him of a painful punishment. These verses further confirm that when people fabricate a misleading hadith attributable to a prophet or a saint, their intention is to lead people away from God's path as ordained in the glorious Quran. Such narrators of hadith and their followers will have a humiliating punishment on the judgment day because they prefer man-made hadith over noble verses of the glorious Quran. We know that followers of Hadith make mockery of glorious Quran by preferring man-made Hadith over noble verses of the glorious Quran under different pretexts. Several Hadith books have been written and compiled after Prophet's death during the past several hundred years to misguide Muslims from the straight path of the glorious Quran. Yet on another occasion, the glorious Quran condemns all man-made Hadith in the following words. Chapter 45 verses 6, 7 and 8 read. These are God's verses which we recite to you in truth. In which hadith after God and his revelations will they believe? Woe to every sinful liar who hears God's revelations being recited to him, yet he persists arrogantly as though he did not hear them, announce to him a painful punishment. These verses compare God's message as ordained in the glorious Quran with man-made hadiths and declare followers of man-made hadiths as sinful liars. 
God also cast his curse on followers of man-made hadith and proclaims a painful punishment for them. The phrase, yet he persists arrogantly, implies rejecting a verse of glorious Quran and accepting a hadith that contradicts a glorious Quran. We know that these propagandists of man-made hadith tacitly reject verses of glorious Quran based on false hadith. Such hadith includes a long list that may include topics like punishment for adultery, performance of ablution, offering of prayer, intercession on the judgment day, ranking amongst prophets, permissible and forbidden food, and so on and so on. The propagandist of man-made hadith also misguide mankind by stating that Quran does not provide answer to all human questions and problems. Therefore, hadith is required to fill those gaps. However, the sinful aspersion of Hadith propagandists is fervently refuted by the glorious Quran in the following words. Chapter 18, verse 54 reads, We have elaborated in this Quran for the people every kind of example, but the human being is a most contentious creature. This verse proves that the glorious Quran provides every sort of example to enable mankind to stay on the right path. However, wicked people still argue that Quran is not complete without Hadith. May Allah Almighty protect mankind from the mischief of Hadith propagandists. Amen. I conclude my monologue on the topic whether Quran approves Hadith with the prayer that Allah Almighty may bless this effort and enable us to apply reason and seek guidance only from the glorious Quran in all matters of life. Please subscribe and share my channel for promoting teachings of glorious Quran to the mankind. May Allah reward your effort. Amen.